warm welcome to our in-depth look at the E station, a crucial part of the Parkman Spa project, currently in it its final stage of preparation in China. We will get this project manager Joanna to introduce us about this product. Hello, I'm Joanna. I'm the uh, project manager of this uh, installation. So let's uh, have a look at the details about it. Okay, hi Joanna. Could you start by describing the design and the key component of the installation? Yes, certainly. And the installation encapsulated uh, within a 40 foot container. So it's designed for high efficiency and reliability. It includes a dedicated fire safety cabinet and an air conditioning system for optimal performance. Um, the system is built at a 2000 kW ampere static transfer switch, which is crucial for managing power transition seamlessly. Great, that's quite a robust setup. So what about the battery technology used in the e-station? We use four clusters of 186 kilowatt hour one pyro 16 series lithium iron phosphate battery cabinet in the e-station. These batteries are known for their synthetic and a long supply. It's needing So I'm interested in the power conditioning system used. Could you tell us more about them and why they were chosen? Absolutely. The installation used two pieces of 375 kilowatt power uh, conditioning system. The PCIS units are selected for their high efficiency and reliability. In work converting and the regulation power, they play a pivotal role in ensuring that the energy stored in the batteries is effectively converted into useful power, maintaining the quality and the stability of the energy supply. So how does the e-station manage and monitor the energy usage? The heart of our management system is the ENI's white ball, which allows for real-time monitoring and optimal control. This is to ensure that we are maximizing efficiency while maintaining the system. Although we don't use fair resistant materials in the construction, the inclusion of a comprehensive fair safety cabinet and the strict safety protocols helps to mitigate the risks. So what additional component complete the e-station setup? Included for 120 kilowatt peak maximum power point tracking units and two 375 PCIs and two 375 kilowatt ampere bell transformer are essential for effective means effective energy distribution, ensuring that the system's output matches the grid requirement. It includes, uh, it includes a dedicated fire safety cabinet and the air conditioning system for optimal performance. <laughs> Makes sense. So before the e station is shipped to South Africa, what tests are conducted? We conducted extensive quality checks and the performance tests, including safety evaluation and efficiency assessment. Uh, these tests are vital to ensuring that the station not only meets our standards but also operates. With such comprehensive technology, what impact do you expect the e-station to have in Captain Town? The e-station is said to be a game changer in the region's energy sector. Its combination of high capacity, storage, high duty material, material flyable materials, so dedicated PCS units and advanced monitoring capabilities will provide a stable, efficient and sustainable energy solution. Significantly enhancing captain's energy resilience and the sustainability. Okay.
Well, thank you for sharing this insight about the e-station. It is clear that this is a cutting-edge project in the field of energy storage. And thank you everyone to make great power with Enrich is our internal mission. And see you next time. Bye everyone.